What's going on guys? This is T-Rex from King Kicks Customs. Today I'm going to be continuing my uh, full part series, Michael Jordan Tribute Shoe. Okie dokie guys, so I did film an intro into this uh, video, uh, this YouTube video, but uh, there's been a slight little change of plans. So, as you probably know from, if you did watch my last video, which was the Air Jordan 1 tribute, Mark the Michael Jordan Air Jordan 1 tribute in the Chicago colorway, that's what I did for my last video, and I said I was going to do a two-part uh, video just on that shoe. Well, this is the second part, but it's been a, a little bit change of plans, you know, so... I was planning to do on the inside of the shoe, uh, Michael Jordan's championship rings, like that. But I've had a little change of heart and I just wanted to keep the shoe as plain and simple as possible. I just Because uh, if you have watched my previous videos where I did uh, Kobe Bryant tribute, I, did, uh, I went a little bit overboard with all the stats and championships and awards that he won. And uh, the shoe on the inside just did not look, like, it just didn't look good. Uh, pretty good at all, even though it, it's nice to know what he, he had accomplished in his NBA career that I put on the shoe, but it just didn't look appealing. The only, the only the outside of the shoe looked really appealing. So I thought I'd do the same and just keep the outside of the shoe with uh, the portrait and the inside. I just keep it plain and simple. So that's what I did, and I'll show you right now. You will see. Uh, me painting the Chicago Bulls logo on the front of the shoe, but I'll I finish off the rest of the shoe and you'll see that right now. So here is the final look at the shoe right now. I have gone ahead and sprayed them in advance so you won't see that. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and sprayed them with uh, this stuff right here. It's meant to protect the paint job. I do want to try this other stuff. It's called, I think it's called LK Liquids or LK Official or something like that. 
that's another brand. And then top it off, I've gone ahead and sprayed uh, the water resistant uh, stuff. This is the only thing that I got access to here in Australia at the moment. So I'm using Crep Protect. I do want to try the Rejuvenator one, but uh, it's all the way in the States and right now it's not the best time to go ordering from other countries because it takes forever. But yeah. So I've gone ahead and sprayed them already. So here is the final look. You got the, the Michael Jordan outside right there. If you, if uh, like, I've just been having them sitting there on the box like that, facing me from my bed, and uh, from a distance they look amazing. I'm not, not kidding. Like in person, they probably look better than they do on camera. So you just gonna have to take my word for it. But yeah, so you got the MJ right there, about the 23 on the back, and then on the inside, I just kept it playing the simple Chicago colorway. That's what it would look like on a in a high version. Uh, on the original high version, but this is the mids, so I've kind of created my own mid version, even painted the outsole as you can see. Quick note: painting outsole is not the best uh, best way. Uh, you should like you shouldn't paint the outsole at, uh, outsole at all because once you step on the shoe, uh, the paint tends to rub off, and that's not what you want when you paint the shoe. So there is stuff which you can protect the shoe, uh, the outsole with. Unfortunately, I don't have them. Not yet. I have ordered some, but they're coming. I've been waiting three weeks now, so I should hopefully by this week or next week they should come. But yeah, so I might put them on that shoe. And then on the front, you got the Chicago Bulls logo right there. I don't know if you can see that properly. This, the light's not that great. Unfortunately, I don't have a full setup. I've only got the camera, so you can't get all the best lighting and all the effects and all that good stuff. But yeah. So, Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Chicago colorway, 23 on the back, signature right there, and that's it. Put some black laces, paint of the tongue, like that. The, the, uh, the, recently they brought out a shoe which looks like this, but it's black, so it's like red, like that. No Michael Jordan, and it's black on the toe, and it has uh, that, that uh, colorway on the tongue, so I thought I'd just do the same. So yeah. You let me know. Uh, I'm going about to show you a clip with uh, me moving and putting on shoelaces, different types. I've done uh, the uh, the rope laces. That's the one. That's what it's called rope laces. They're black. Uh, I've also got flat laces. They're black too, but uh, they've got like some type of writing on it. And it's some type of Asian writing. Um, yeah, it'll have like all the little words in their characteristic uh, characters under the shoelaces and then I've done uh, put the white shoelaces, the original ones and these black ones. I thought I'd just keep with the black ones but yeah, you just let me know down in the comment section uh, if you watch the clip and yeah you let me know which one you think is the best. So unfortunately I didn't get to produce uh, what I said in the first video which was adding the championship rings on the shoe. I thought I'd just keep it simple but I reckon these are overall was a nice custom. I'm going to do, this is going to be like the part two, like a series of the shoe, which is going to be the right foot. This is the left foot. I'm going to do the right foot now. I'm going to do a different uh, Michael Jordan uh, portrait on it. And I'm going to get, do the same, but on the tongue, I might uh, change that to either Michael Jordan logo or the Jordan logo or might be uh, just the writing of Chicago Bulls like the in letters so I'll, I'll think that over and I'll let you know or you'll see it in the next video but I'm just gonna have my last video on this tribute so I'm gonna do that that will be coming hopefully by the end of this week so thank you for watching this video I hope you did enjoy it uh, unfortunately I couldn't deliver what I said but I hope that it turned out to be a nice little video and finished uh, custom on the left shoe. Uh, stay tuned for the the right foot, which will be coming within a week. I I uh, think it'll be within a week or less. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the post notification bell. Leave any comments down below if you enjoyed it or not. Uh, comment down below if you want to see more uh, videos like this where I do uh, portraits of NBA players. Like I'm. A 
planning on doing a, a video on Stephen Curry portrait, a uh, tribute, because he's uh, my favorite player currently. Have a blessed day. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.